What's going on, y'all? Welcome to the Blown Coverage Fantasy Football Podcast. I'm Waver Wire Queen. Today's video, we are going to have some fun because the NFL draft is only two weeks away, so we're going to do another mock draft. This mock draft is for a super flex league that I am in on the Sleeper app, and it's a one tight end league. I'll tell you a few things about my team. I need to add another running back. I'm confident in Mixon, Montgomery. I'm not so much confident in. And then my uh, backups are Edmonds and McKissick. So I really do want to add another running back. Tight end position, I have Kyle Pitts. I may add a tight end late. Quarterback, I have Watson, Trey Lance, Carson Wentz. May add someone else. I have four picks. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Let's jump right into it. I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready. I am so ready for the draft. If you are in a league or considering joining a league, make sure you draft after the NFL draft, especially if you are already in an established dynasty league. Don't draft before the NFL draft. It doesn't make sense to me because you kind of want to have an idea of where these rookies are going. So just don't do it. And if they, 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 they try to do it, if they're considering it, vote against it. Just don't do it. But nonetheless, let's get ready to jump right into this mock draft I have planned today. Again, this league that I'm in, it's a really good league, um, very competitive, 10 teams, Two quarterback, one tight end position. I've already told you guys my position of needs. Now we're just going to get into this mock draft and have some fun with you guys. Y'all going to help me draft my team so I have a chance to win. Now, I made the postseason, but, you know, I got bumped in the first round. I had a solid season, but the quarterback play was the issue. And, again, I didn't have Watson. I had – um Carson Wentz at times. Um, also, I had Jared Goff at one point in time. And then I also had Heineke. So you already knew how that went. But nonetheless, let's let's get right into this draft. I'm going to keep y'all waiting. Um, I really enjoy using the Sleeper app wow. for my Dynasty League. The features are really good. Now, I have pick 1.7. And again, the goal for me is to add another running back but it has to be a running back that i that i that i like uh obviously i would have been happy if kenneth walker was there i liked isaiah spiller before the draft started however i'm kind of <laughs> falling out of love with isaiah spiller a, a slight bit but nonetheless he's he's still a really good running back but i'm i'm i'm, I'm falling out of love with him quickly I'll tell you that. But again, I simply need a run. I really do need a running back. But before I make that decision, I'm just going to just survey and see what other positions are out there. It's okay to draft what you need. However, you just need to be cautious and make sure you're not reaching. If, like in this league, this is a one tight end league. I don't, well, actually this year I'll say, I don't believe any tight end should be going in the first round. That's just my my opinion. I, I I don't think this is that draft. This is a draft that has some really good tight ends. However, they ain't Kyle Pitts. Now, Kyle Pitts, I drafted him last year in this league that I'm in a deep rebuild. And I drafted him early. I think I drafted him with the, the fourth pick. Okay, because I already knew that he wasn't going to be available when I picked at the end of the first round. So, I, I made the move. So, now there's some really good players on the board that's making me you know, want to consider adding another player. Now, I have a playoff team, and then my wide receiver position is solid. However, there's a wide receiver on the board right now that I just absolutely love, and Chris Olaf. So, again, I really like – I like I like Spiller more before the season. Now I'm kind of uh, falling off the, the Spiller bandwagon slightly, and there are two wide receivers that are just – going to be great also keep in mind i may be drafting players that are gonna help me make some 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 moves later on so i know that our chris olav 
he has the potential to be one of wow. uh, the wow. best wide receivers coming out of this wow. draft. Wow. Again, uh, quarterback position. This wow. is a, definitely a two-quarterback league, so I am not surprised that Malik Willis came off the board first. He, to me, is the top quarterback in this draft class. And I know everyone is saying this class is weak. So now right here, I like Rashad White in the second round right here. So again, I have Mixon, who I felt was going to have a very good season this past year, and he, and he did. So I'm adding White because I didn't want to take Spiller. I just didn't. I'm not on the Spiller bandwagon as much as I, I used to again. So I took Olaf because that was a great pick at 107 because Olaf has the potential to be one of the best wide receivers in this draft. Let's let's be real. And honestly, guys, the more I I, I do my research and watch the tape, I'm I'm feeling Kenneth Walker a, a, a slight bit more than Brees Hall. Now, don't get it twisted. Both of them are playing very well. Well, both of them played very well, but it was just a little... It was a bit different for me when I watched Kenneth Walker. But again, both of them are very good. And I believe in most drafts, Hall will be the first running back off the board. However... If you're bold enough to take Kenneth Walker, it may pay off. <laughs> no, it will pay off. I'll say that. But again, I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I was, I was in love with what, with what I've uh, watched with Kenneth Walker. Just, uh, just electric, electric to me and explosive. Um, Brees Hall, very good too. But I, I don't know what Walker. What I've watched with Walker, it, it has me. Uh, Really considering Walker, if I had the chance between uh, Hall and Walker, you can't go wrong with either guy. Now, again, right here, you know, for me, I have a really good team, and this is all about uh, making sure I add a running back. I did. I added another wide receiver, which I'm not mad at. I have some really good wide receivers, but I just feel like you can never have enough good young wide receivers. And this draft has several, which is why I made the decision to take Olav instead of Spiller. Spiller wasn't going to start for my team. I like White in the second round at pick seven. And so now when I'm looking through, I like Sky more. I'll tell you that. Um, Alec Pierce is another one. I'm a little cold on uh, Michi. I like Deluch. So that's another uh, player to keep in mind. A uh, tight, tight end position is, is, is really good uh, this draft. So again, I'm looking. I just want to make sure there's nobody here that I'm like, oh my God, I should have taken this player. So, so far at the quarterback position, I just don't see it. So, and again, quarterback position, it wasn't a, a must for me. Um, not on the Brian Robinson train. So if you are, eh, on you. If you, like, I'm in this league where I have 14 picks. Late, and I got to take a chance on him. Late, I will. However, he's not someone that I'm just looking at like, oh, okay, I have to draft him. No, just he doesn't represent the type of running back that I'm looking for. I want a, I want a dy young, dynamic running back is what I'm looking for. So it looks like I'm leaning towards, I got, I got Sky Moore. The, the Luch is here. So I'm, I'm leaning towards Sky, Sky Moore. Honestly, guys, it's, it's looking like a Sky Moore move for me. So let me unpause that. Let's get right back to the draft. So I'm definitely looking at Sky Moore. Really like Sky more. Uh, wow. And then you see uh, Deluxe, another one off the board. Tight end off the board. So Woods is good. Rucker is another good one. If you're in a deep dynasty league and you want to take a, a late, late chance on a quarterback. Because, again, in a dynasty league. And if you are in a deep league, you're going to have to feel slotched if you're on a, using a sleeper app. Taxi squad, so you'll have uh, the opportunity to um, add 
players late and take a chance on them. So I like at the quarterback spot. The seat at the quarterback spot. I like Bailey Zeppi, and I also like Caleb LB. Late, don't reach late, and that's again if you're in a deep dynasty league and you have those late fifth round picks, and there isn't anyone on the board that you feel is worthy of drafting. So now this league only has four rounds, but I have five picks in this draft. And so I'm just looking again, like, to see what is there. Zenovian Knight ran a terrible 40, but again, that's not the only factor that you should consider. There are some really good wide receivers still on the board, so that may be the route that I go. Again, wide receiver wasn't the position of need. Again, this team is already built. The only issue was I didn't have my starting quarterback this year. Got our starting quarterback, so we are on our way. So again, this is just another luxury pick. I have I have the running back that I'm content with in the second round. I have a premium um, top tier wide receiver if I want to package him later on or package one of my other wide receivers to get a running back, I will. You can use different strategies. If you're an established team and it's a luxury pick, you may go best player available and, and you may flip that player into something else. So there are so many different ways you have to look at the you have to approach the draft. And again, this is your team. This is your organization. So you may be in a position to do that. Let's get right back into this draft, y'all. Let's let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. So I'm going to settle in on, I'm going to do my little wild card pick. I'm skipping all the way down and I'm going to add Alec Pierce. Wow. And it's a late pick. I like Kolar late. Again, he's one of those players, like if you're using the sleeper app, you can store him in your uh, taxi squad. Remember, you, gotta, you can use all of that to your advantage to add more players to your team. You just got to be able to work, work your team, work everything you need to do. And so here late, I really don't have to take a, I can take a wide receiver because there are still really good wide receivers on the board. This draft will be a bit different once we do it live. A lot of these guys like Michi won't be available in the fourth or they'll be drafted. Um, Robinson will be drafted. Tolbert will be drafted. And I, I can take one of those guys. Um, however, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this uh, chance on a quarterback. I'll, I'm just going to snatch a, a quarterback late just to add um, a young quarterback late. My team is already established. Again, the only issue with the team was uh, we didn't have Watson available. And again, I do have a nice young uh, quarterback in um, Trey with the 49ers to help my team in the near future, so I'm, I feel like I'm set at quarterback. I wanted to add a running back. I did in white, which I'm not mad at. And this is my team. Olav, White, Sky Moore, Alec Pierce, and Caleb LB. So I'm not, again, I'm not mad at what I did in this draft. I think the draft was solid. And again, I don't expect this uh, live draft to, to go this way, I do expect it to be a bit different. I do expect all of the uh, quarterbacks to definitely be going by the second round. This is a deep league, and it's a super flex league. So quarterback position is important. There are people in the league that like drafting quarterbacks so they can uh, try to make trades later on. So I expect a few people to do that as well. I have my, my plan in mind, I want to add a running back, but I want to make sure it's the running back that I want at a certain position. At a certain uh, position in the draft, I'm not going to reach, and you should not reach. Again, don't reach. Don't reach. Okay, I promise you. If it's somebody that you really want and their uh, ADP is not 
that high, you'll be able to get them. So don't go and reach for if you if you really want. This is not the greatest example, but if you're really interested in Brian Robinson, you don't go and, and reach for him in the first, second, or third round. You may be able to get him on waivers, but no, probably late rounds because he he's not gonna bring you the greatest value. And again, when you're in a dynasty league, you gotta understand this is your organization, this is your team long term so you want to make sure you have assets whether you have them available to help your team or to flip those assets that is what you have to do and brian robinson if he come out if he ends up on a team a playoff team and he's getting some chances and he he's that goal line guy then you may have someone come in the call however don't reach for him, please. He's going to be there. But you may have somebody who's just thinking based on the name, oh, Alabama running back, and they're going to reach for him. That's going to help you out later on in the draft. Again, you may be a team that's uh, drafting because it's a luxury. And, like, in my situation, I want to add another running back because I have Montgomery. I'm not as high on Montgomery as I've been in previous seasons, but I still have Joe Mixon, and then I – have um Edmonds and um McKissick if Kenneth Walker would have made it to me I would have taken him but to see Olaf on the ball and I really didn't want to draft Spiller I made the move to to draft Olaf because I know that I can most likely flip one of the uh wide receivers on my roster because I have quite a few of them I can flip one of those wide, wide receivers into a running back that I truly want and trust is going to lead me to the championship and that's what it's about all right y'all make sure you subscribe to the channel make sure your notifications are turned on and you hit that like button also leave some comments and let me know what's going on with your team this year let me know what players you may be targeting and how we did on this mock draft y'all have a great evening peace Thanks for listening to the Blown Coverage Fantasy Football Podcast. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Blown Coverage Fantasy Football Podcast.